I, th I think it. I think it's happening. I think it's. I think it's happening again. Oh, ugh, my head. Hello everyone, welcome back to my horrendous channel where I torture you with cursed images for our thumbnails. I would like to say that the idea for the Animorphs turning me into a Funko Pop thumbnail came to me and I want to say like a fever dream at like 2am a couple days ago. And <laughs> I've never actually read any of the Animorph books. So if you have, and if they're as crazy as they look like on the covers, let me know in the comments below. They scared me as a kid and I was never adventurous enough to figure out what the heck was going on by actually reading one myself. But I was inspired, I guess, holistically for this video by remembering that I have this whole box here of the Funko Pop Marvel trading cards by Upper Deck of the Infinity Saga themed Marvel uh, Funkos. So this was actually, I believe, a first release at last year's San Diego Comic-Con. Now, if this video is going up on time, this past weekend was San Diego Comic-Con 2024, and their special cards from Upper Deck. Uh, Marvel collaboration this year is an X-Men 97 set. I believe about 15 cards exclusive to the Upper Deck booth. Now, this was originally released at the Upper Deck booth last year, like I said, and then had a retail release and recently dropped on EPAC. One of the main chases of this set, outside of printing plates and sketch cards, are exclusive Funko Pop Redemptions, for which there is a Captain America that has a chase variant. And I've seen some pictures of it online, and it's a really cool looking pop, and I would like to get, honestly, one of the redemptions for it in this box here. But I'd love to see some cool cards. I forgot that I had this for almost a whole year. Look for prototype, clear cut, and glow in the dark parallel cards, eight cards per pack, 24 packs per box. And I will say, this is one box that my mom picked up at Target. It was not sent to me by Upper Deck, but it is made by Upper Deck. Without further ado, um, let's go ahead and hop on into this and see how cursed these cards really look. I will say these are some weird cards in, in that it is a very weird concept. I don't think I ever could have imagined it. And I guess in hindsight, this is less weird than the Funko Pop video game that's coming out later this year, I think. Oh, it's an Upper Deck box. It's got the Upper Deck seal. <laughs> Let me go ahead and get that real quick. May contain time-sensitive redemptions. But yeah, collect original art sketch cards drawn by Funko artists. It would be super sick. I've seen printing plates online. And like I said, this recently hit EPAC. So you're probably not going to be able to find packs out in the wild. Target, Walmart, Box Lunch, Home... Not Home Goods, Hot Topic, the other H store that I go to. Not sure you're going to be able to find those out in the wild if you're looking for these. But you probably can still grab them on EPAC. But yeah, so it's kind of like stock photos, I would say, of the Funko Pops. Oh, we have a Shuri silver foil. That's kind of cool. It'd be actually cool to see, like, which ones I own. Funko shorts insert. For 29 that's a large insert set. Yeah, I forgot I had these until I saw people posting about their redemptions coming back for the Captain America exclusive Funko that you could pull. Frost Giant Loki. The Malekith's always been a cool pop. Vision. That Thor's a cool picture. It's the classic Hulk with the, the smile. I guess more of a... Eh. I don't like Funko Pops with mouths. I think they look better without mouths. I know some people hate them in general because of their soulless beady eyes, and I feel like that's the charm of them, though. You got a gold foil rocket raccoon. I did not like these outfits. <gasps> the Winter Soldier, I have that one. Well, I think my mom actually has that one. We kind of have an agreement where I collect all the Lokis and she collects all the Bucky Funko Pops. That way we don't have duplicates. Stonekeeper. The Hulkbuster ones look cool. I wonder if you have any specific hits per box. 
I'm hoping, honestly, to just see some cool stuff that I like. Hawkeye. Ideally, the redemption. Huh. That seagull looks so weird. It's not stylized. It looks like a... Looks like something out of, like, a DreamWorks movie, almost. It's not Funko Pop stylized. I would have expected it to not have real eyes, I think is the problem with that seagull. Gold Captain Marvel. That's cool. Different foil there. We got Thor Funko Art. This looks like a, one of the t-shirt patterns. A sketch card would certainly be cool. I'm curious what the Funko Artist's act, like, actual art looks like. These cards are starting to kind of clump together. Goose, Thanos, Silver Foil, Hulkbuster has like a different background. I guess they all do have different backgrounds. Funko Art, Captain America. The Dancing Groot, I actually have that one. Almost within reach, it's right over there. The Dancing Groot, I have quite the large Groot collection. I'm trying to trim down my Funko Pops, but anytime I get rid of a bunch, and they announce a bunch of new ones that I want, and then I fill back up again. This is a bricked pack right here. I should have opened this when I first got it. <laughs> Baby Groot with the bomb! Captain America, <laughs> the Red Skull. Okay, I'm starting to enjoy this a bit more now that I'm actually seeing ones that I own. Otherwise, I was like, I'm just looking at Funko Pops. It's kind of weird. I wonder if this is how people that are not into comic books perceive products like Marvel Annual, which is pictures from comic books on them. Ooh, Gold Doctor Strange. The shorts are definitely the best cards here. Because there's actually some sort of dynamic activity going on in the image. The base is definitely plain. Winter Soldier Silver Foil. <gasps> Loki! We need more Loki ones. So far, the only Loki base we pulled are the older Loki pops that I passed on because I didn't, even back in the day, I didn't like them. I will say the designs for Funkos have come a long way in terms of how good they look and how detailed they are. Oh, look at Ant Man, he's got a macaroon. Captain Marvel, silver foil. Like, just from... Just the design of their heads, their heads are also a lot different. Like, these older Groots, they look kind of weird now con uh, compared to newer Funko Pops. Like, look how weird the Star-Lord looks from Guardians of the Galaxy 1 compared to, like, a Maria Rambo from Infinity War. Like, old Funko Pops look weird. I'm, I'm even starting to run into the problem where even some older ones that I have, like, I'm, I'm not liking them as much as I, I did originally because I'm so used to the newer designs of Funko Pops that they look funny. It's definitely interesting. Ooh, what's that? That looks fun. That looks fun. What are you? I have this Loki. Was this the Collector's Corpse exclusive one? Perhaps. Yeah! Yeah, buddy! Sick! Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. Hell yeah, buddy. Buddy. I just combined buddy and yeah, boy, and it came out you a... Yeah, Funko Pop Redemption. Sick. I think they are all the caps, right? I don't think there's like a different one. That's awesome. Thor, like look at this weird old Thor. Giant Man. Hulk art, Ant-Man foil. Lady Sif is so weird looking, the shape of her head. Looks like a old Game of Thrones pop, honestly. 
I remember. I really wanted the old Comic-Con exclusive Loki. Huh, look at that picture. It's like the continuation of the other card. Oh, these are my favorite cards. I own this. The Groot. I, oh, convention exclusive. Why do you say con exclusive on you? I'm gonna sleeve you up. You look fancy. Why are you con exclusive? You weren't originally a con exclusive. Are you a con exclusive parallel, maybe? Didn't we see the baby grew with the bomb earlier? And I was like, oh, I have that one. Where'd he go? Is there 41? Yeah. Okay, interesting. Interesting. I have questions about it. I'm curious what that means. So I know there are the Comic-Con boxes. They were labeled, I think, though, with a Comic-Con on them. I've seen boxes that say Comic-Con. I'm not sure if maybe it's the same boxes. Because it does say collect the uh, retail exclusive parallels. This was a box. This was... um. This was a whole sealed box from Target. So this wasn't from San Diego Comic-Con. So I'm really curious as to what that is. But I, I am so hyped about my, my redemption. I do have to, as soon as I'm done recording here, there's someone I have to message though, because they were gonna hold they were gonna hold one for me. They got a bunch of redemptions come in, so I have to let them know. I, I don't need it anymore. Please, please go ahead and sell to somebody else. Don't hold for me. Man, there's that weird looking Star Lord again. Oh, that's a cool Hulk. I don't think I've actually seen that pop. Casilius. I used to have this at one point. And then when I when I thinned down my collection a while ago, I, I got rid of it. So I just bought it because Mads Mikkelsen's cool. But then I was like, well, I have my, my Hannibal. My original Hannibal pops. Ooh, Ancient One foil. That's cool. It's our only foil that we've seen. Go ahead and give that a sleeve. This is more fun than I expected. Honestly, like first couple packs, I was like, yep, these are weird stock photo cards. I don't know how I'm going to be entertaining this video. And then now that I'm just kind of enjoying it, I, I, I'm more, I feel more relaxed. I'm enjoying it a lot more. <gasps> I have this Groot. Kiselius Golds. This Iron Man has got a funky haircut. We got Steve, right? Is his name Steve? I remember there was a Pops Rides for the first Ant-Man movie. I used to try and collect all the rides, especially the Star Wars ones, and then there was like too many of them, and I sold off all the ones that I had a while ago. Well, I still have like the Luke and Leia speeder bikes, I think, but... There was a uh, Ant-Man Rides <laughs> on the Ant. <laughs> this is a funny one. I like that one. Hulk Silver Foil, T'Challa, Cat America Arts. Rid of that Loki. Goose Mbaku Gold Foil. That's a cool one. I like these Funko shorts. Yeah, first I was like, eh, 29 of them, but I, I do like that. That's my favorites, my favorites by far. I like the way these look too. The uh, full foil and the ancient one, I like that. I like the gold foil more so than these. These are fine unnumbered parallels. They're all unnumbered. I don't know how rare exactly. Oh, I like that. Oh, that's numbered. Oh, <laughs> I was just talking about numbered versus unnumbered. Iron Man foil and the 93 of 99 Black Widow art. That's cool. I like that haircut on her. I think it looks real good. Ebony Maw looks weird. But nice. Black Widow, if I'm gonna get a numbered character. Nice character to get. If it's not Loki, it's not Groot. It's a nice one to get. Same thing with the Iron Man. Can't complain about an Iron Man foil. Would have preferred something different for my PC, but A, Iron Man's Iron Man. I'm so hyped for my redemption. I don't know how hard they are to pull. Is that funky looking Loki Minerva? 
Hulk art. I want like one of the good looking look. Well, we did find that blue suit Ragnarok one, which I will say originally the hot toy for Thor Ragnarok was supposed to be the blue one. And then people didn't like the prototype, so they made the green one. Which I was not happy about because I already had the green one. And then they, they did, uh, from the, the flashback scene, they did a new 2012 Avengers version, Loki, anyways. Uh, I had the original one. The original 2012 Loki. That was very expensive. That hot toy was very, very expensive for a while. But now that there's one very similar to it that's newer, uh, it's definitely gone down in price. But it's my first ever hot toy I got. Oh, man. I love it. I'm so happy I got it. I almost didn't get it because it was very expensive for me back in the day. But Hot Toys used to be a lot cheaper. I think I got it for about 160 back in the day. We did have two foils here. Ancient One and the Iron Man. We had the Baby Group Convention exclusive. The yellow corner there. Really curious as to what that means. If I can't figure it out on the line, then I know there's a... Uh... Someone at Upper Deck, I think, can reach out and ask. We have the 93 of 99 here, the Funko Art Black Widow. And my favorite, exactly what I wanted out of this box, the Captain America Redemption. We'll see uh, if we get the chase on that. The chase just glows in the dark. The chase would be cool to have because it's chase. It's more rare, but the regular one's fine. I'm happy that the chase is just a glow variation because I don't feel compelled to go buy the chase. Uh, the Chase is much more expensive than the regular version. I think um, about market on the, the non-Chase is about 60 and the Chase is about 260 So, Chases are 1 in 6. They used to be 1 in 36, now they're 1 in 6. So maybe, maybe I'll have a Chase here. Either way, I'm just happy to get it. Happy to get it. So I will redeem that and let you all know when I get it in. Maybe we'll have a, a video unboxing of that as well. 93 out of 99 on the Black Widow. If I'm gonna get a numbered card, nice to get a nice uh, Black Widow. And I'm really curious, like I said, about that that Baby Groot convention exclusive, because we had a different card, number 41, that was uh, not with that square there. So I wonder if perhaps this was not supposed to be in this box. Perhaps it was supposed to be Comic-Con only, where this set originally released. But I think this was a good box. I have not watched any other openings. I'm happy that I did keep it. I'm happy I didn't sell it. There was a period of time where I was considering selling this box, but I'm happy I kept it because I got just what I wanted. And I'm curious to go through and find and match up the cards actually with the pops that I have. Or pops that I've had in the past as well. Oh, this was fun. This was fun. Let me go ahead and get back up under the water. And we'll talk a bit more. Well, that was actually a lot of fun. I wasn't sure quite what to expect out of a Funko Upper Deck Marvel trading card crossover, but I enjoyed it, especially the further we got into it and I just let myself enjoy, you know, the opening and the art for what it was and seeing some more of the foils. I really did start to enjoy it. Of course, it definitely helped that I got my number one chase out of the set, which was to hunt down this redemption card for the Captain America. I still actually really enjoyed it. Uh, very interesting product. I don't know if I would buy any more packs. I think I had, I think it was like a one and done kind of deal. I'm happy with just that. And like I said, I'm not gonna be able to find more packs out in the wild, but if I do get the craving at 3 a.m. to open up some more of this, uh, you can go ahead and find it on EPAC, or I can go ahead and find it on EPAC. Satisfy those cravings if I do end up having them. I was also pleasantly surprised to see a numbered parallel. I'd seen a plate. I'd seen a printing plate before. I wasn't sure that there were other numbered parallels, so that was cool to find. All in all though, this was a lot of fun. From cooking up that thumbnail to opening up this box here to getting that number one pull that I was chasing out of the product, I had a good time from beginning to end, so I hope that you all did as well. So if you did, don't forget to go ahead and hit that thumbs up button for me. Comments, like I said at the beginning, if you've read Animorphs, if you know what the hell is actually going on with those Animorph books, let me know in the comments below. And of course your thoughts on this product, as well as some fun polls you may have had, let me know in the comments below. But with that, that should wrap things on off for me here in this video. Now, before you head on out, before you click that red X button right on up there, why not check this video out? I really think you'll enjoy it too. Bye-bye.